Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, and that's why this week I'm reacting to the Bing Bong Brothers and Kablamo by The Lonely Island. If this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician and I react exclusively to comedy music because that is where my field of expertise is. What this means for you is that I'm gonna pause the songs. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not talking over or laughing over the jokes and missing them. This way I can talk how about the lyrics and video work in tandem to help enhance the comedy. Sometimes I'm analyzing, sometimes I'm summarizing, sometimes I'm explaining jokes, because that's always fun for people, and sometimes I'm just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're gonna get, but I think it's a good time any of those ways. If you like that sort of thing, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive in to today's video. Now, some of you may be wondering why I'm going into the Lonely Island now. Uh, a month ago, Lonely Island released a brand new song, and I was very excited because A, I love the Lonely Island, uh, I'm a big fan, I have all their albums, uh, and I've listened to a lot of their stuff, and I, you know, haven't seen anything from them since their Netflix movie, The Bash Brothers, uh, which they sort of released the album for, but not, like, physically. They didn't do a physical album release of that. Um, so this is a new song that hit Saturday Night Live back in October, and then an uncensored version hit their channel. And as I was looking at the uncensored version, prepping it to be reacted to, but obviously got delayed because of the various surgeries I've been having and will still have soon, um, I noticed a video popped up in my feed of a song that I'd never heard of theirs before. So I went back and realized that before their first album, Incredibad, came out on Lonely Island, uh, the Lonely Island's album, Incredibad, apparently the name of the band was Incredibad before that, and they released songs that would be under the Lonely Island Records label, which was not a label, it's just what they put on the thing, such as this first song here. And I realized... I'd never heard them before. They're from 2005, 18 years ago, before they even started doing digital shorts with Saturday Night Live. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I've split things up a little bit. Today, this video is a reaction to two of the earliest videos they have on their channel. The Bing Bong Brothers and Kablamo. And then the next video will be a reaction to the two most recent songs, the song they released last month on Saturday Night Live and the song that actually just came out this past weekend on Saturday Night Live with Charlie XCX. So going for the old songs first on this video, and then the next video I'll react to the two newest ones. Now that all that preamble is out of the way, let us dive into the first song here. Now I do know that the Bing Bong Brothers and I, I do know of this song, but I don't think I've actually ever heard it before. Um, I do know that this is a parody or pastiche of the Whisper song by the Yin Yang Twins, which we just saw a recent parody of with Starbomb's uh, Nintendo Direct's, Nintendo Online Direct's announcement, or whatever it's called. Actually, what is it called? I have the album right here. Uh, Nintendo Online's Greatest Announcement from Starbomb's album. That's in my reaction. I'll put a card up here for it or whatever. But yes, this is another parody of the Yin Yang Twins Whisper song. So let's dive in and see early days of Lonely Island. So in this it's so far, just Yorma and Kiev, Akiva, uh, Yorma Jacone and Kiev, uh, Akiva Schaefer. Uh, I don't know if Andy Samberg is in, in this one or not, um, but I know that they all three were friends and started doing things. I think the formatting of this is very funny. It is in widescreen, but the widescreen itself is pushed into a normal 4x3 regular old school square format. So it's it's in sixteen nine it's in sixteen by nine within the four by three format, because 
the videos on YouTube weren't in widescreen. They were, back in 2005, they were in the more, at the time, standard square format. So, uh, the way that widescreen has changed all of our lives, all TVs are widescreen now. Back in the day, they weren't. Uh, back in the day, you couldn't watch YouTube on your TV. <laughs> I'm old. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I was not expecting the first line to be whispering, you might like our penises. Uh, <laughs> now, admittedly, again, they're whispering on this, and I had a little trouble understanding the lyrics in the Starbomb song, uh, and, you know, having a whole song of whispers. Thankfully, this one's only a minute change long. Uh, probably only a minute because the sketch seems to have taken up the first couple of seconds there. Uh, but that is a great opening line for a pastiche or parody of, of that Yin Yang Twin song. Holy crap. Uh, let's take it back just a little bit here. Uh, <laughs> and the fig mustaches are a choice too. It's just, yeah. <laughs> Your butt looks soft over here. If I could touch it, I can tell if it's soft. Yeah, oh, absolutely, one hundred percent. It is just as ridiculous as the Yin Yang Twin song, only just upping the ridiculousness to extreme levels, as a comedy song should, as a parody should. Okay, okay, uh, then I can tell it's soft, and then I'll show you my penis. Subtlety is not their strong suit, obviously. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> uh, also, apologies if uh, the audio is still a little rough in this. I've messed with, uh, with settings the best I can to get the audio to not be crunchy in these reactions. Uh, I don't hear it crunchy on my end. I don't ever find out until after I've done the video capture here. And in the edit, I find out if the audio has done it right or not. So I apologize if it, if it sounds a little goofy there. Um, and I also apologize for my kind of somewhat muted laughter. Uh, for those of you who may not have been keeping up on it, I have kidney stones. And uh, having another a second kidney stone surgery coming up soon. And... Uh, the first surgery has put me in a lot of pain, so sometimes laughing hurts places. So I'm, I'm, it's been why oh, there's be sporadic videos lately. Anyway. The whole chorus hook being and then I might show you my penis, you guys. And then I might show you my penis, you guys. You might like my penis. <sighs> you know, poetry is so difficult to achieve, and yet these guys seem to have mastered it on their very first release. Shakespeare weeps. Take it back a little bit, because this is just absolutely brilliant. And they're just filming it like on like a loading dock <laughs> in New York somewhere. Hey, pretty girl, did you go to college? Did you get your BA with all that knowledge? Poetry. Poetry. Absolute, unabashed, unashamed poetry from the Bing Bong Brothers. Ah, this is my job. Please, 
I like your boobies in your shirt. Please let me show you my penis. And then a moan with the wiping of the mustache that almost sounds like it could just be over waxed and it's just squeaking, but no, that was that was a woman's moan. Um, knowing the Yin Yang Twin song, this is this is uh, an uh, an accurate pastiche of that song and style. Holy crap! Uh, this is. I, I love comedy music for this ex exact reason because you're taking ridiculous premise to its to its extreme, and that's you know kind of the basis of a lot of great comedy is taking a ridiculous premise and making it go to its, its you know unnatural ex extreme. Just just two horny guys who are, are whispering the worst things you could ever possibly hear to you. Yeah. It's getting to be begging. I don't know. Um, they, I think they're being too subtle. I, I can't figure out exactly their goal with this song. I, it's a mystery. It's that poetry I was speaking of before. Sometimes you have to look deeper to glean the meaning in a song. <laughs> and not even like not even like being sexually explicit they're not saying anything that they're going to do with these uh, genitalia just looking at them just looking just observing them look at my penis I want to see your boobies and then I'll look at your vagina that's it that is all they have said, and the song is over, and we're back to a sketch now. Yeah. I like that song. <laughs> 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 and that's it. I like that song. Keith gives us a weird look. All right, see you around. Leaves. In and out, real quick good little one minute ten second sketch absolutely great uh i love that all right uh let's move on to their their next uh song that is of a decent length to react to there was a 30 second song between these two releases when they when they posted them on youtube if you go back as far to their to their first things but uh kablamo is again a song that i feel like maybe i've heard bits and pieces of. I think they showed parts of Kablamo in the uh, pop star uh, Never Stop Never Stopping uh, mockumentary movie that, the, that Lonely Island did that was marketed as a Justin Bieber parody, even though it was not a Justin Bieber parody. Um, if you've not seen that movie, it is a fantastic mockumentary uh mockumentary style, but also kind of a style of a, a, a parody of biopics um, uh, of, a, of a pop star who started with a group and then went solo. Connor For Real, played by Andy Samberg. Um, pop Star is a fantastic movie. It got slept on theatrically, uh, and it shouldn't be because it's hilarious. Um, so absolutely check that movie out if you haven't, um, and especially if you have an affinity for The Lonely Island or comedy music in general. Um, it's a great one. But let's check out Kablamo. Yeah, so in this opening thing here, the band is called Incredibad. The song is called Compla Kablamo. The album is Please Incredibad, Don't Hurt Him from 2001 Lonely Island Records. So actually, these songs are older than YouTube says they are, because YouTube is only 
18 years old at this point, 2005. Um, apparently these songs were on their website before they were, that YouTube existed, which was around 2001, according to this credit here. So yeah, these songs are now, I don't feel like mathing that much, but uh, over 20 years old. Neat. All right, even before like we get into the lyrics, just that opening sequence, just the way the shots are done, the the quick cutting, it's like every hip hop song from that era's style of music video, especially like old school Beastie Boys type stuff that, you know, has this certain look to it. Um, really late 90s, early 2000s era MTV quick cuts and editing style and just filming the band out in the neighborhood, just out on their day as if like they just randomly always start singing these songs or, or what have you. Um, just the aesthetic of this video already before we even get into the song and like the little ad libs that he's you know saying at the beginning before the song kicks in proper. It's all evocative of that style of music, uh, that, that style of hip hop and video making from that era. Uh, that's really freaking great. Uh, and obviously we have all three guys here, so. R.I.P. to Shannon Doherty, uh, being thrown in as a lyric in there, but also having that Shannon Doherty rhyme with joined a sorority and something about the lottery, we winning it or lying about it. Uh, that great rhymes. And, uh, you know, Kablamo, that's Kablamo. Great achievements, that's Kablamo. Lying about the lottery, not Kablamo. We have, we have our song concept already within the first four bars. Fantastic. I love, I love in this one shot, when they keep cutting back to it, Keeves just in the background holding a light back and forth, like waving a light J just to blind the camera, that's all that's really doing, uh, but it's give creating an effect. Uh, <laughs> this song is already ridiculous, you know, talking about meeting somebody and, like, going for a date but showing up late, that's not Kablamo. Um, let's take it back a little bit here. This is, yeah, like, the whole... That shot is completely blown out because <laughs> of the lighting. Uh... Or maybe it just might be a, 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 a cross-fade to white in this particular shot, but still, uh, everything, have all the colors blown out like that, it's, it's just funny. Let's go back to the beginning of this verse here, about Fred Siegel. Oh wait, no, it was, it was, uh, in that shot, it's Andy using a flash camera, so the the lights are flashing. Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, take it back just a little. <laughs> Friends. Stupid idiot, you don't know what you missed. Fred Siegel's a star, and you Stone Cold missed. Oh, man. Like, yeah, this is, like, so much in the style of, like, tongue-in-cheek party rap, kind of, like, starting with, like, early, like 
mid-era Beastie Boys stuff before, like, LMFAO started, like, doing the party rock kind of stuff with it. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely very evocative of a, of a very specific genre, uh, trying to hit that, that niche era of, of music. I mean, they're doing it appropriately because it came out around the same time that this was, you know, at, it, at its popularity. But, you know, having it be specifically comedy skewed, having it, taking that tongue in cheek and driving that tongue firmly through the cheek, uh, out of the face, obviously into the realm of comedy, uh, it, it makes this just, you know, that much more of a great skewering of the genre. Let's take it back a minute here. Because uh, I feel like I missed something, so let's let's go back. <laughs> so basically, saying how cool he is. He's got ivy on the wall, but not around the lettering. Uh, he's a pimp as cool as. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, his building is cool. <laughs> Working in the laugh into into the bar again, something that that happens a lot in in songs of that type too. Just like laughing on the beat, ha 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 ha. You're not Kablamo. Uh, the call and response style of the song too. Call and response is a great, you know, hip hop trope. A lot of artists use it. I've done it myself. The uh, Luke, great Luke Ski just did it in a song that I just reacted to last week. Um, so yeah, you know, it's it's reused so often because it's so prevalent. You know, it's it and it, it works. And it's a great way for like if you're doing songs live to get the crowd involved. It's fun. These are the most ridiculous things to be Kablamo. Uh, if they're supposed to be such great things. The doc tests your arteries, that's Kablamo. Your mouthwash is gargly, that's Kablamo. And your water is watery, that's Kablamo. I majored in pottery, not kablamo. And, uh, his friend's telling him he's not cool. That's great. Oh, my God. What is happening? <laughs> I love the shot of the ambulance drivers bop into the groove as well. That is very hilarious. But you get stabbed in the face and so by your friends. You're taken to the hospital bleeding all over the ambulance. And then your leg gets amputated because it's gangrene and then you die in your teens. Uh, that is definitely not Kablamo. Um, but also, what is this situation? You need new friends! Well, I mean, you're gonna be dead, so it's not gonna matter much, but, but holy shit. Gotta, I gotta take it back to the beginning of that verse, because that is just the most ridiculous. And I love it, because, yes, obviously. Not Kablamo. Also, the nonchalant way Keeve just stabs Yorma in the face. That's just... It's so good. I love... I love... And it, it, it happens so much in comedy songs, but it's really the only style of song that it can can happen in unless you're trying to make a joke 
in a regular song and just have that be the one-off joke. Like, and I'm, what what happens is I'm saying is dropping the rhyme scheme just to just throw in something. Because uh, I don't think the next line is going to rhyme with mixed blessing. But, uh, you know, you kind of drop the scansion, you drop the rhyme, and the person that you like, she shows up to your funeral, and that's a uh, real mixed blessing. Uh, having having the ex uh, having an expected rhyme, you're you're expecting a line to rhyme there, and it doesn't happen. Um, you see more and more in comedy songs than you do in other songs. There is yes, the Twenty One Pilot song, um, where he he talks about specifically. I uh, wish I had you know words so I would, didn't have to rhyme all the time, um, and that becomes a little tropey. But like you know when you're pointing out the the meta ness of. Uh, not being able to find a rhyme, but also just ignoring the the the, the tropiness of it, ignoring the meta ness of it, and not calling out that rhyme that you're not going to rhyme, just straight up not rhyming and rambling and trailing off with that's a real mixed blessing. Yeah, that that helps enhance the comedy a bit more than just kind of pointing out that like hey, I'm not I can't think of a rhyme here, so I'm going to say that I can't think of a rhyme here. Yeah, isn't that funny? There are places where it works and where it doesn't, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, that is... Yeah, it, there wasn't going to be a rhyme there, because you'd think it would talk about the maybe rhyme with funeral, and it's a real mixed blessing. That's the end of the line, and we go back into the chorus again. Uh... <laughs> Also, R.I.P. to Gilbert Gottfried. Uh, that, that really dates this song. Two of the celebrities that they've mentioned in it are dead. Holy shit. Um, let's take it back again. Oh my god. Your jello is wobbly. You met Gilbert Godfrey. They're, the way that they're kind of stretching words and stretching syllables to make it fit a rhyme scheme, um, again, is something that you really can only do in comedy music, because otherwise, if you do it in a regular song, people are like, you're just mispronouncing shit to, be, to make it fit. In comedy, it's allowed. Because comedy, the rule of comedy is that most rules don't apply as far as songwriting goes. Uh... You know, you do what you do to make it fit and be funny. It has to still be a good song, has to have a good beat, have to have good rhythm, good vocalization, otherwise, you know, so it's still listenable outside of the comedic element of it. That's kind of like a bigger, more important thing with a lot of comedy music, a lot of modern comedy music especially. But still, uh, Wobbly, Godfrey, and... Uh, I f suddenly forget what the last one was. Uh, your Harlem Globe Trottery. The Harlem Globe Trotters. Harlem is saying you are Harlem Globe Trottery. Is that what they're saying there? Regardless, uh, Wobbly, Godfrey, and Trottery. So they have to stretch Godfrey to be Godfrey. Uh, kind of give it an extra syllable so that it fits the, the scansion and the rhyme scheme. Uh, it's ridiculous. It's it's comedy music. I I love it. This chorus is... Yeah, that's Kablamo. Wait a minute. You watched The Disorderlies and that's not Kablamo? The Disorderlies is a great movie. Uh, my, my buddy Bob absolutely swears by that movie. Uh, uh, it's it, it's a great movie. It's, it's a stupid movie. It's kind of a remake of a Three Stooges thing, I think. Um, but done in the 80s. Actually, is The Disorderlies the Fat Boys one? I'm gonna live Google. Uh, Disorderlies. Sound, the Fat Boys did the soundtrack. No, yeah, the Fat Boys did the movie The, the, the Disorderlies. Uh, not, the, not the soundtrack. Disorderlies movie. Yeah, that's the one with the Fat Boys in it. 
uh, I was thinking of a different movie that's kind of similar to it that was based on a Three Stooges thing. But I think maybe even the the three the Fat Boys version might have been uh, I, I, my words fell out of my head. Everything I was thinking of went bleh, bleh. Uh, yeah. Okay, anyway, yeah, it's a 1987 movie by hip-hop stars, The Fat Boys. Um, it's a great movie. Uh, whatever. It's funny. Um, back when hip-hop used to be a lot funnier, too. Um, yeah, let's take it. I went off on that tangent way too long, and I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, but I'm a little sorry. Uh. These are just the most ridiculous lyrics. And also, why is Andy mining with a plastic scythe from, like, Spirit Halloween? Uh, it's, not even, it's not even a pickaxe. It's a plastic scythe. Wow. Uh, when you're mining for coal and you don't know what coal is, and then you get a mole up your butt, what is happening in this song? It's so ridiculous. I absolutely love it. You're sure to be fired because that's your job. To know what coal is, you're supposed to be mining for it, you're gonna get fired because you don't know what it is. Oh my god. When you when the mole's in your ass and you wonder where the mole is, you're screwed, man, that mole's in your uh They just said job at the end of that line so that it would rhyme with the previous and that's your job. You're screwed, man. The mole's in your ass. Job. Like, there's just something so beautiful about writing a song to be purposely funny and having the jokes be so stupid, but have them being brilliant in their stupidity. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, there takes a certain amount of brilliance to be that dumb on purpose. And to realize that it's that dumb, but to be so gung-ho about it being dumb. Like, I don't care that this is dumb, I'm gonna say this with, you know, my whole chest and just throw this rhyme in here just so it fits because I know it's kind of a dumb thing to do, but I'm fully committing. Committing to the bit. I've mentioned this before. I love committing to a bit. Uh, even if that bit is stupid, I appreciate the dedication to commit to that bit regardless of whether or not people are going to come along for the ride. Um, and that is a great example of that. Um, we've already been prepped for this kind of thing in the line before, where the mixed blessing line came in and didn't rhyme with any previous line before it, and then just, like, suddenly, like, oh, we're expecting, maybe this won't rhyme either, no, we're gonna throw the rhyme in at the last second, we're gonna rhyme it with the same word, just so that it fits. It's, it's so good. It's so good. What happened to Keeve's voice on that line? <laughs> it got real, real squeaky, real nasal. Uh, uh, whatever, man. All of your drinks are English brew. Uh, yeah. They did it again. They they did it again. I have to take it back. They It's so beautiful and stupid. 
uh, take it back a little further. Your whim is the word of the people on Earth. But the whole mole in the ass thing is haunting you, Earth. They did it again. They the thing they just did in the previous bar. They did in this. They did the same joke, just with a different word, to make the thing rhyme again. <sighs> yes, I know. I, I mentioned before. I sometimes summarize. But the the reason it works is so stupidly beautiful. You you have to appreciate that kind of thing because that is that is one hundred percent a a great mark of comedy is to like as a callback. You know, it's a callback to the thing you just heard, and a, and a and a subversion of the expectation of the thing you heard in the previous verse where something didn't rhyme at all. And it's also just a big bag of not giving a fuck. And just going for whatever they think is funny. And hopefully you think it's funny too. This absolutely drips of three friends writing a song and going, this is making us laugh, maybe this will make other people laugh too. You know, there are bands that are, that are building careers on that kind of uh, idea right now. Wolves of Glendale is doing that. Uh, just guys sitting around, three very funny people sitting around making each other laugh and going, alright, that's going in the song, and then the song gets released and everybody agrees. Yeah, that's pretty fucking funny. Um, but to do it on, on this level, this early, before, like, you know, to suddenly have this become a well-known band, you know, The Lonely Island, back when they were called Incredibad when this song came out, and having it be so much the start of their careers is super admirable and super insane to know that, like, from start to finish through their career, they've kind of kept to that aesthetic of, this makes us laugh, so that's what we're going to do. And that's that's fantastic. Uh, also, Keeve is wearing the same shirt in this shot that he wore in the Bing Bong, Twi Bing Bong Brothers video. Uh... Just something I I noticed. Yeah. Again, again. When when your food's in your body, that's kablammy. What happened to kablammo? I meant kablammo. It's it's so good. It's so stupid. When your fluids are bodily. Sorry, not when your food. When your fluids are bodily. <laughs> Just kablammy and kablammo. Now we're we're uh, we said kablammo. Not not we said com we meant kablammo. We're it's they're like gaslighting Yorma now. Uh, and just confusing him. That's a great way to end a song. Hard. <laughs> why? Why? Okay. Just say the word hard and then leave. And then instead of posting up on the wall, just everybody, everybody bounces. That's great. That's freaking phenomenal. Okay. So... We've seen the early days of The Lonely Island. I really enjoyed the hell out of it. Hopefully you did too. If you did, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. If you want to check these videos out without me yammering all over them, links are of course in the description box below. The next video we'll be checking out the newer Lonely Island songs, so please if you want to see those, maybe subscribe, or if you want to see them early, and help out the channel like these folks over here do, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my own comedy and music early, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, all of that uh, to say, we'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Kablamo.